Hi, my name is Dr. Amgad Makarius. I'm the chairman of cardiology at New Health, Nassau University Medical Center, part of the regionalized cardiac care services of the North Shore LIJ Health System. I'd like to share with you today a uh, article which uh, we feel will uh, significantly contribute to the current literature regarding coronary CT angiography. The title of our paper is Implications of Gender Differences in coronary calcification as assessed by CT coronary angiography. Now this is a study, an observational study, where we looked at uh, coronary CTAs performed at North Shore University Hospital in Manhasset, New York in USA, where we went to go ahead based on the knowledge that arterial calcium measured by multi-detector coronary CT angiography is known to contribute to our knowledge of the presence or absence of coronary plaques, namely calcified and non-calcified plaques. And we know based on the MESA study and other large studies that these plaques can actually contribute to our knowledge of the coronary uh, anatomy and therefore the risk of patients with these plaques in terms of coronary issues and acute coronary syndromes. So we wanted to examine the difference between men versus women in terms of coronary plaque calcification and distribution of coronary plaques. So we looked at uh, 138 patients referred for CTA uh, at our institution, and we looked specifically at their uh, coronary CTA results, um, doing subgroup analysis and comparing males versus females, again matching for their age as well as the associated coronary disease risk factors that we all know about. We examined the total of 552 coronary arteries in 138 patients, 85 men and 53 men, women, and we matched these men and women in terms of their coronary risk factors and then looked at the differences in distribution of calcification using the Agatson uh, scoring method between the LAD, the left circumflex, the RCA, and of course the left main. And what we found is that on comparison of all total coronary vessels, we found that the uh, that men tended to have higher calcium scores in the left anterior descending artery, left circumflex, and right coronary artery. All statistically significant difference when you compare men versus women. Further, the odds of having a total calcium score greater than 100 versus not having that was 3.6 times greater in men relative to females after all other cardiovascular risk factors were adjusted for. So our data we take to mean that men have a significantly higher calcium score uh, in all three major coronary arteries despite similarities in age range and rate of the various major independent cardiovascular risk factors. In addition to a higher overall calcium score, men also tended to have a greater number of significant calcium scores, meaning scores greater than 100 all the way up to 400, indicating a high likelihood of a stenotic lesion. While women tended to have lower scores, they were still found to have calcified plaques, but these calcified plaques tended to be more diffuse throughout the vessel compared to men who tended to have more focal stenotic obstructing lesions. So we conclude that there are, of course, clear differences between males and females regarding total vessel calcium scores and therefore risk of future adverse coronary events. Males tended to have higher calcium scores, but our study further shows that the distribution of this calcification in the coronary arteries is also discrepant between the two groups and therefore might lead to an explanation to some of the observed clinical differences that we see in men versus women. Either way, we know that this shows us that the assessment or the difference uh, when we see between men versus women is something that we should account for. And therefore, large studies should be performed comparing men versus women in order to optimize therapy based upon all of the patient characteristics and, more importantly, based upon gender, as we examined in our study. Thank you.